Hi everyone, Gia McCool, Bikini Pro with Cool Fit TV. Hi everyone, Ferlin Bailey, Fitness Pro with Cool Fit TV. And we are off to the gym to do a beginner's leg workout for you guys that just got started and want to know what to do in the gym for legs. All right, so gear up, get your supplements from Body Shop Inc., get your water, get your towel, because we're going to go sweat. Let's go. We are going to be talking about all about squats. So a lot of people are intimidated with the cage. They always stay on the Smith machine. Unfortunately, Smith machine is not going to activate the glute as good as the cage squat. So we're going to be going over form, all about form today. And my wonderful friend, Ferlin, is going to be taking us through the exercise. And I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is so that you can do it too. Here we go, guys. We're doing three sets of 12 reps. And this is something very general that you can start out with and then build after that. Main thing is getting that bar. So Farlin, go ahead and take that bar and make sure you're watching where the bar is, that it's nice and balanced on the back of the delts. Nice and firm. Go ahead and lift it off. And start off with no weight in the beginning. Legs are a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Toes are tipped slightly out, okay? All the pressure is in the heels. So come on down for me, Farlin. And a lot of people tend to use their back when they're coming down. It's all in the legs. So sit back, kind of like there's a wall right in front of you, and your nose and your knees are right in line with that wall. So the butt has to come back. Come on up. On the way up, you want to tip your hips forward and really squeeze and engage the glutes with the move. Again, come down nice and slow. If you can see, his knees and his ankles are all in line. He's not hyperextending anything. His back is straight. His glutes are engaged. Again, come on up. And then he's squeezing the glutes up again. So let's go through a nice down for two. And up for two. And he's nice and deep. Ass to grass, you guys have heard that term. It is, in, it is always engaging the glutes through the whole move. Great job. And make sure you're coming down, taking an inhale and exhaling on the way up. Breathe, 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 guys. So you can see this is the proper form. Guys, start out with three sets of 12 reps, and then you can build after that. Our next exercise is our V-squat. Ferlin, my subject over here with the awesome quads, is going to be demonstrating proper form. And we're going to be taking you through this exercise because I do think it's great if you're just starting out and you want to build up those legs, but you keep proper form. So for one, let's go ahead and start three sets of 12 reps, and we'll begin. <laughs> so before he lifts the weight off, make sure your shoulders are nice and secure and all the way to the back of the pads. The reason why I say this is because if your shoulders are a little forward, you'll tend to use your spine or your back, and I want all the pressure to be in your glutes, quads, and hands. Again, keeping the, the abs engaged and against the pads so you have a nice flat surface. There's no arch behind. Go ahead and lift off that weight for me, Farlin. If you can see his feet are shoulder width apart, feet are nice and straight. Go ahead and come down for me nice and slow in a count of four. And he's taking it low like he's sitting in a chair. You notice that? And come on up. All the way up, squeezing the glutes. Again, come down. Nice and low, guys. Engage those glutes. Back is up against the pad, proper form. Awesome job, Ferlin. Thank you so much. So that is what you want to be doing with the V-squat. And you're going to be doing about three sets to 12 to 15 reps. So how are you feeling, Ferlin? Exhausted. You think you can complete two more exercises? I think so. <laughs> okay, so this is our one of our last ones. We're getting down to the end. You should be really exhausted by now. It's our leg press. I love this exercise because if you have back problems, you can do alternate single legs on this. Um, you can do both legs, but it's really great because it keeps your back flat on that pad. Um, versus your cage squats, which definitely your form is really, really important with those. So, Farland, go ahead and jump on, saddle. I always say, let's do this. I know, right? <laughs> We're talking about sets here. So, if you're just starting out, three sets, again, keeping it 10 to 12 reps. Intermediate, you, what, you can go up to four sets. Uh, keeping, you know, climbing your weight. If you climb your weight, try to complete 12 reps. 
If you're advanced, you can go all the way up into six sets, and you can mix it up doing super sets, giant sets, however you want to do it. But today, we're just going to go over forearm. Uh, forearm, go ahead and take your legs up on that bench, and you can see it's about shoulder width apart. Um, he's keeping his knees open, toes are facing forward, and the pressure again is in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes when you're doing this move because everything is being pushed from the heels forward and you're activating those hands and glutes again. Back is all up against the pad and abs are engaged, tucked under. When you press up, you're excelling out. When you come down, you inhale down. So go ahead and lift off with your heels for me, Bowen and let go of those straps. Come on all the way down. Deep inhale, exhale out. Press from the heels. Again, inhale in, exhale out. And there you go, that's an awesome rep. Keep going, give me another four. Exhale out. And if you can watch, he's breathing nice and deep. The more you can breathe, guys, if, you, if you're holding your breath, you're not going to be able to push that weight, okay? So really control the breathing, feel the weight in the heels, activate the glutes. Go ahead and rack it back up. And break. <laughs> so guys, there you go, leg press. Next exercise is our ham curls. We're going to be doing anywhere from three to four sets, and again, we're going to be taking it up to a high rep and then down to lower rep as we climb with weight. I'm going to show you the variable right now. Go ahead and come around, Berlin. <laughs> and again, keeping your tummy all the way up on that pad. If you notice his legs, that pad is right underneath the heels, okay? Or underneath the calves. Make sure, and his feet are close together. You don't want the, the legs fall apart. Keep them nice and tight, okay, so that you're utilizing all of the hamstring. Go ahead and curl up for me all the way and hit your glutes with that pad. There you go. Come all the way down, nice and slow, and all the way back up again. So pal up. There you go. So he's taking the pad all the way to the glutes. That's important, guys. Don't do half rep. Take it all the way, full range of motion, and nice and slow. Again, all the way up and slow down. Now I'm going to show you a variable. Take it all the way up and hold. Now small little pulses. Come down and now take it right back up. All the way back up. Again. All the way back up. You're going to need four like that. Again. Four. And three. Come on a lip. So little tiny pulses staying at the top of the move. He's at, he's doing that. That's an awesome job, Ferlin. Good job. One more, one more, one more. And come all the way down. Now you're going to go up and stop. Come all the way down, come up, slow, there you go, up, down, again, three, again, two, again, last one, and all the way down. Relax, come off the pad. <laughs> so if you notice he did a full range of motion, then half C's all the way up, and then tiny pulses at the bottom. That is going to burn your hamstrings, yes? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> so that's a variation that you can do at home again, three to four sets, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. How are you feeling, Farlin? I am uh, hanging in there. <laughs> you can make it through this last exercise? No, I have a choice. <laughs> okay, guys, single leg ham curls. Love them because I tend to favor one side versus the other, and this really helps me watch that, okay? Single leg exercises are great for legs. Uh, go ahead and hop on for me. I'm going to take you through the form, three to four sets, 12 to 15 reps at a light weight if you're starting out. You're going to go ahead and take the heel and all the way touching that glute, slowly relax it back. Don't slam the weight, guys. Let all you will take it up and slam it down. No. Go ahead and take it up and slowly relax it down. Again, take it up. Abs are engaged. Tuck that ab under. Nice and strong back. Again, one more. Squeeze, 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 and slowly take it down. Relax. Awesome job. <laughs> there you go, guys. Single leg ham curls. Ooh. Definitely do them. Hey, guys. Ferlin Bailey here with Cool Fit TV, and this episode is brought to you by The Body Shop. Great supplements, great knowledge. Go check them out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. <laughs> well, that was an awesome leg workout. What do you think? I'm still shaking the knees. You think you can do this? 
several times a week or what would you recommend for anybody starting out? Oh, for the beginner, I would say do it once a week because after the first time, you're gonna be very sore. And as you build up a tolerance for it, then you can add twice a week. But for, one, for right now, once is perfect. Awesome, and then this was definitely for our beginners. Um, if you have been doing this for a while, and uh, even you know at least over over a year you've been doing legs regularly. I would say you can play around with reps and sets. But for now, follow what we suggested. And um, anything else that you would do for legs to finish up that we didn't go over? Uh, something that's quite simple that builds the legs a lot: walking lunges with dumbbells in your hand, or the step mill or stairmaster, as most people call it. If you want to add some weight, bring your backpack to the gym, throw a 10, 15, 25 pound in there, and work those quads, those hamstrings, those glutes works trust me that's a really really cool idea because I know that when I'm on the set mill I'll do double step or I'll do the third step I'll never do the single ones just exactly. kind of like give that extra little weighted but yep. that I never thought about wearing a weighted vest so that's awesome so try that out guys um, well great workout looking forward to doing it again with you All right, definitely send us your questions uh, anything any advice stuff you want to talk about and we'll see you next time on cool fit TV